morning today we will discuss the acf diagram the acf values they are plotted in acf triangular graph and that is known as acf diagram but before plotting one should have sound knowledge that how these values a c and f are calculated now in order to represent mineral assemblages in rocks of diverse chemical compositions and metamorphic grade a triangular diagram yeah, or you can say a triangular representation developed by ascola 1915 is used extensively this method is necessarily it is compromise because only three components can be represented in a plane yet the rock contain more than three components nevertheless by means of suitable selections and restrictions his method allows representation of most rocks of not too unusual composition and having axis of silica now as you see in the diagram this is your a this is c this is f these three corners now at a it is al2o3 right so the various metamorphic minerals kyanite and lucite sillimanite such minerals will be marked on this corner similarly on c this is your cao means minerals like calcite or lustonite will be marked because the excess silica the silica is not considered in this plotting now the a is you can say the values of a you can mark as al2o3 plus fe2o3 minus na2o plus k2o this is what a means <coughs> means al2o3 fe2o3 because al3 fe3 they can substitute each other and na2o k2o because these are the composition of feldspars which are not considered in acf so the na2o and k2o which is utilized in formation of feldspars is not considered so the remaining means that the same equal amount of al2o3 is consumed in these feldspars so that amount of al2o3 is actually subtracted from the main composition of the rock first of all i want to make the students clear that you will be given the chemical composition of a rock right you will be given the weight percent oxide data of the rock that is the chemical composition so the first step that you will do is you will make correction for the accessory minerals from the weight percent oxide data because these accessory minerals are not considered in plotting in acf diagrams so we have to we are supposed to neglect the composition of the accessory minerals in addition to the determination of chemical composition of the rock you will be also be given the percent that is the model analysis of your accessory minerals accessory minerals because they are present in less than 5% and their composition is not considered in plotting the acf diagram the various correction for accessory is just i can say that 50% weight of ilmenite is subtracted from <coughs> whatever suppose you are given 1% ilmenite in the rock so what you will do that 50% means 0.5% you will subtract fe um, uh, feo from the 50% means ilmenite what say suppose it was 1% so 0.5 0.5 you will subtract from feo because the chemical composition of ilmenite is feo dot tio2 and they are in 50 50% so uh, because tio2 is not considered only feo is considered in plotting so you will that part of ilmenite means which is of feo will be subtracted from your feo composition so in you can say simple way that 50% of ilmenite is subtracted from feo this is the first correction for the accessories similarly the second correction is um, uh, 70 and 30% of magnetite 
whatever the amount of magnetite is given the say suppose again 1% magnetite is given so 70% means 0.7 you will subtract from Fe2O3 and 0.3 from FeO because we can write that mo molecular formula molecular composition of magnetite as Fe2O3 dot FeO so straight way 0.7 suppose 1% of your magnetite is there then 0.7 you will subtract from FeO2O3 and 0.3 from FeO similarly correction for your next mineral uh, say sphene sphene is 30 weight percent sphene means the say suppose again 1% sphene is given then you will subtract 0.3 from your CaO because the chemical composition or the molecular composition of your sphene is CaO dot TiO2 dot SiO2 SiO2 is not considered TiO2 is not considered only CaO is considered so the CO in mole form is 0.3 so 0.3 of the given model analysis of a sphene that say 1% so 0.3 will subtract from the composition of CO. Likewise the weight percent means the as such your, that hematite hematite is Fe2O3 suppose you are given 2% hematite so straight away you will subtract 2% from your Fe2O3 because Hematite is Fe2O3, so 2% will subtract from this. So after correction of the series, means you will make the correction for the given necessary minerals and the remaining you will convert that weight percent oxide data into the molecular proportion. And for molecular proportion, you will put the this A value as I just said before that Al2O3 plus Fe2O3 this is the molecular proportion of L2O3 plus molecular proportion of Fe2O3 minus Na2O plus K2O means these values they are subtracted from your because Na2O and K2O they, that part of the feldspar feldspars are not considered and in feldspar the, the molecular proportion of Na2O and L2O3 is 1 is to 1 so that amount of Al2O3 which is utilized in the feldspar is subtracted from the given Al2O3 composition of the rock and Fe2O3 is added because Al3 plus and Fe3 plus they are substituted. Then C is CaO minus 3.3 P2O5. CaO means molecular proportion of CaO as such and 3.3 P2O5 because that part of ap appetite is not considered. So in appetite 3.3 times of P2O5 is CaO so that CaO we are not taking into consideration so we will subtract 3.3 P2O5 from CaO that will be the value of the C similarly F F is MgO plus MnO plus FeO these three together the molecular proportion of MgO, MnO and FeO this is the F value so we will get the value of A, C and F in molecular proportion and for plotting ACF diagram we will recalculate 200 because for plotting it is necessary to recalculate them to 100 and the points that will be there that will be plotted. So likewise we can plot in this ACF diagram and you can see in this diagram this I told you this is your A, this is C and this is F. So here naturally the minerals which have Al2O3 right they will be marked 100% Al2O3 and the three minerals or you can say polymorph of Al2O3 that are kyanite and and sirvanite. Similarly here C means CaO and olestonite because olestonite has CaO dot SiO2 SiO2 is not considered so CaO to olestonite will be marked here. At this end this, this end this is your for the F, Mg, FeO, MnO. So minerals like your hypersthene, cummingtonite, such minerals will be marked. And you can understand in between this is say this will put this point will be for diapside because diapside is CO and your FUMGO. Right? So like this we can you can understand we can mark different minerals and the composition of the different rocks and thousands of compositions can be plotted in this diagram. And we can just determine the fields of that rocks. So in ACF diagram you should understand this was developed by ESCO line 1915. Secondly what will be given? You will be given the 
this is the weight percent oxide that of the rock of a metamorphic rock and also the moral analysis of the sessile minerals so the first step will be that you will correct for the sessile minerals then corrected weight percent of different oxides they will they are converted into molecular proportion by dividing each molecular with the weight percent of each oxide by its molecular weight that will get the molecular proportion then you will put in the formula a equals to al2o3 plus fe2o3 minus ne2 plus k2o c equals to cao minus 3.3 p2o5 and f equals to feo mgo plus mno you will get molecular proportion of these a c and f then you will recalculate to 100 the values that will be calculated will be plotted in your acf that is the triangular graph paper that is complete this is also the part of your practical exercise that plot the given ac and f values or the plot the acf values of a rock having following chemical composition and the model analysis of accessory minerals as under so it should be very clear this is a, this is also asked in the theory as well as in the practical so you get acquainted next time we will try to give some exercises on plotting of the acf diagram so this is all for today thank you very much